These two people don't have a lot in common. Kyle Forgard is a 29-year-old YouTuber from Mississauga, Canada. Dana White is a 53-year-old UFC president from Connecticut. So why are they friends? Motive. Both guys benefit from publicly being friends with each other. That's not to say that their friendship is ingenuine. It appears that it's real, but profit and growth were likely the catalysts for them linking up. Nelk's fan base is young, male, and active. A perfect recipe for Dana. In fact, that's how the relationship started. Dana's son. How do you guys know each other? My son introduced us. Really? Yeah. 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 Oh, nice. Interesting. Me and, me and Dana Jr. <laughs> met up at a bar and stuff, and then me and Dana just developed a good relationship. On the other side, UFC is one of the fastest growing sports in the world. It's physical, primal, alpha, and entertaining. So it makes sense why Dana saw Nelk's rabid fan base and thought, I want them. What the fuck? You get them born. No. <laughs> Holy sh. Oh. Holy f. <laughs> <laughs> that's f. Happy birthday. Yep, that's Dana giving Kyle $250,000 cash for his birthday. That should tell you how successful this collaboration has been. This gesture even got Dana in some hot water because of the controversy surrounding how much or how little he pays his fighters. But that's a topic for a different video. First of all, all these people on the internet, go f yourself. How the f I want to spend my money? Mind your own f business. Kyle has done so many things for me. And believe me, the $250,000 that I gave him for, for his birthday does not cover the amount of things that that kid has done for me. Dana has been in a lot of Nelk content over the past two or three years and vice versa. He was their first guest on the Full Sin podcast, and Nelk even has a UFC merch line with 29 items. My assumption is that Dana is getting a substantial percentage of that. And if you know how much merch Nelk sells, you know that would be a lot of money. So between 50 to 60 million a year is what we do in merch. Nelk even created a dedicated Full Send MMA YouTube channel and hired a reporter who gets a ton of access to the fighters thanks to Dana. But that's not always a good thing. You know, this degenerate culture of barstool sports and full sin is that you got to do your homework. This partnership has been so successful that it undoubtedly contributed to Dana's decision to partner with Prime Hydration. Logan Paul and KSI have a passionate and even younger fan base than Nelk. Dana didn't make Prime the official drink of the UFC because it's a good quality product for professional athletes. It's not. He did it to tap in to Logan and KSI's fan base. And one major benefit Nelk and now Logan has enjoyed with their partnership with Dana is his network. He's a well-connected guy who is close with many high-profile celebrities. Now that we're kind of in bed with Dana White because of Prime, uh, he, he's he's been very very kind to us, and um, he does nice things for me. I was I was at this I was at this fight, and he, he calls me over and introduces me to Donald Trump. He even got Trump on Nelk's podcast twice. Great to have you all in Air Force One. It's a very special plane. You're a friend of a good friend of mine, that guy right there, Dana White. Nobody like him. Right? He's a great guy. I don't think Dana would be willing to call in that big of a favor for very many people, which speaks to how close the two groups have become. Dana has been so happy with the UFC fans coming in from Nelk that it looks like he's trying to do the same with his new project, Power Slap. In addition to being promoted in Steve's Rumble video descriptions, this new sport, if you can even call it that, seems to naturally come up during some of the podcast episodes. I'm in Israel. Then. I asked you to come to Power Slap too. I mean, I think Dana has a vision with it. The boys generally speak highly of it, so it makes you wonder if that topic of conversation was organic as it appeared, or if it's part of their partnership with Dana. Blurring the lines like that has become a potential problem with this whole thing. When we see Dana gambling with Steve Will Do It, is he there because they're actually friends or because it's good for business? My guess would be both, but because all the deals were made behind closed doors, for obvious reasons, fans will never know. With Dana and Steve specifically though, it does seem like they really like each other and get along. What's your what's your take on Steve? I love Steve. Steve's one of the nicest 
kids. He's a great guy. On the planet. Yes. He's such a good person. You know, he's one of those guys when you become friends with him, he'd do anything for you. An example of the confusion surrounding their relationship is that some people seem to think Dana bought Nelk, which is not true. I do think Dana deserves a lot of credit for this partnership. It's a creative, outside-the-box thinking risk that no other sports commissioners would dare try. In fact, Nelk reached out to the NHL for a collaboration, but they said no thanks. NHL told yeah, us yeah. if Nelk Boys is involved, we don't want anything. Yeah, to we're too edgy. F them. They're all old, dumb f people that have no idea what's going on. They have no idea where this younger generation is, how you reach them, any of that shit. NHL don't want the Nelk Boys? No problem, I got them. The NHL probably doesn't want to be associated with a group as controversial as Nelk, but they don't seem to realize the upside. Dana does, and it's paying off. So what's next? Probably more of what we've been seeing. If this partnership has been as successful as it appears, Dana and Kyle have no reason to stop. In fact, we may see more collaboration between Full Send and UFC in different forms outside of merch. As you continue seeing 53-year-old millionaire Dana White partying and hanging out with 20-somethings, Remember that he's doing it for three main reasons. Reliving his youth, real friendship with the Nelk Boys, and money. Thanks for watching.